Welcome into Chicago Bears. Now I'm your host, Harrison Graham. We got some rumors to get into around Mac Jones should the Bears draft the Alabama quarterback. Let's talk about it here on Bears Now. They have met with the Bama quarterback, and Jones said, hey, it was a great meeting. Love talking ball with those guys. Now, Alabama uniquely has, has two pro days this year. Had one last week in which Jones threw out a lot of the top Alabama prospects, uh, worked out at that one. And then they'll have another one tomorrow where some of their lesser prospects will compete as well. He's also slated to throw at that pro day, which is pretty cool that Mac Jones is going to throw at both pro days, considering some quarterbacks don't throw at either. Now, Mac Jones had this to say about his meeting with Chicago saying, we just talked about football for an hour straight. That's the best type of meeting for me. Hopefully I'll get a chance to talk to them some more and see where that relationship goes. Now, we've talked about Mac Jones before, quite a bit actually, and I like him a lot. It would be a home run if he's there at number 20. The problem is he's not going to be. I mean, based on all projections, scouts, mock drafts that you see circulating around the internet, around NFL circles, I haven't seen Mac Jones fall to 20 from any legitimate draft expert in the better part of a month at this point. He's rising up draft boards. Teams like him a lot, and there's even, even some chatter, which we'll explore this a little bit more, that San Francisco could take him at number three now, which means, obviously, you're not going to be able to get him at pick number 20. Now, I do want to ask you this. How far would you trade up to draft Mac Jones? Just give me a pick number. Would you move up to number four with Atlanta? Number five with Cincinnati? Would you move into the top ten at all? Let me know how far would you be willing to trade up to acquire Mac Jones. Now, I would have to wait and see how the draft is playing out before I pulled the trigger on moving up you know, into the top seven, top ten. But I do believe there's a good chance he is going to go top five or top ten. I'd honestly be pretty surprised if he fell beyond like 12 at this point. I just think he's that highly regarded at this point in the draft prospect or er, tra draft process. And we do know at this point that the top three picks are basically locks to be quarterbacks, which means even if Mac Jones isn't one of them, there's only one to two guys left remaining that are worthy of getting drafted in round one. And Mac Jones certainly made a case to be one of those quarterbacks with a stellar season in 2020, obviously led the tide to a national championship game. The completion percentage set an NCAA record, 4,500 yards, 41 touchdowns, and four interceptions. I definitely think there's interest from Chicago. I think Mac Jones would welcome an idea of going to Chicago because he would start pretty soon, I would guess. I'm sure Andy Dalton would start week one, but it's very possible he would unseat Dalton at some point in the season, which would be a good opportunity for Mac Jones on a somewhat win-now roster in Chicago. Now, let's take a look at the updated draft order because, of course, that blockbuster trade between the Niners and Dolphins and then, of course, the Eagles getting in as well. Niners, number three pick now. So you look at the top four, all four of those teams could draft quarterbacks depending on what happens. I expect Cincinnati to take either Panay Sewell or a wide receiver, maybe Kyle Pitts as well. Six through ten, the Dolphins now at number six. They uh, dropped to number 12 with that trade with the Niners, moved up with Philadelphia to get number six pick. I don't think they'll take a quarterback. Don't think the Lions will. We know Carolina's interested in quarterbacks. We know Matt Rule likes Mac Jones, so it's possible you would have to jump Carolina, maybe get up to Detroit there. Denver, Dallas, rounding out your top ten. Don't rule out the Broncos for a quarterback as well. Giants won't take one. Don't believe the Eagles will take one at this point. I think they're locked in with Jalen Hurts. Chargers have Herbert. Don't think the Vikings will take a quarterback at 14. But then at 15, even if Mac Jones somehow falls to 15, I would be pretty surprised if the Patriots pass on him. So if you're the Bears, as you see them sitting at pick number 20, you at least have to get into the top 14. Because, again, if he's there at number 15 somehow, which, again, I think is pretty unlikely at this point, I think the Patriots would take him at number 15. So you're going to have to trade up if you want to get Mac Jones. But if you're the Bears, you've tried to make it work uh, with a Russell Wilson trade. It hasn't happened. Deshaun Watson obviously is untradeable at the moment. Uh, you've signed Andy Dalton. You have to still consider avenues to get quarterbacks, and 
If that means moving up in the draft, that could end up being a path for Chicago. Now, I wanted to show you the 49ers-Dolphins trade in which San Francisco moved up to number three uh, from 12 to kind of explain to you guys, okay, this is how much it would cost to move up, you know, X amount of spots, for example. So they gave up their uh, number 12 overall pick, nine picks lower, uh, a future, uh, two future firsts uh, in 22 and in 23, and a third to move from 12 to three. So multiple firsts and a third on top of their own first this year to get the number three pick okay I did the math you could check it out at draft tech uh, they have uh, point values for every single pick in the NFL draft the Bears could get from number 20 to the lower part of the top 10 with a similar offer so could they get to Detroit at number seven with offering similar capital number 20 two future first and a third Maybe. Could you get to number eight with Carolina? I think you could get to number 10 or so for sure with that similar offer. Of course, if a team up there drafting in the top 10 agrees, but obviously if you're Chicago, if you're going to get to like where Atlanta is at four, Cincinnati is at five, you're talking about an extra first round pick at that point. So your own this year, plus three more, that's going to cost quite a bit if you're the Chicago Bears. But Maybe if Mac Jones slide, maybe it's draft night and you've gone through the first seven picks and he's still on the board, maybe you get aggressive at that point. You call Carolina and say, hey, I know you like Mac Jones, but maybe you like two firsts, a third, and a second more <laughs> than Mac Jones, and maybe you get them to agree to a trade. We'll have to see, but sitting at number 20 makes it difficult for the Bears to acquire Mac Jones in this year's NFL draft. Do you want him? Do you want the Alabama quarterback? Type Y for yes, type N for no. I'm not, like, begging for the Bears to get Mac Jones. I'd like to have him, but you can't you just get crazy and go trade and draft him at number four overall. I think that's a little too rich. We'll see if the Niners take him at three, but uh, this draft, it's going to be crazy around the quarterback position. Now, our partners, Fanatics, have all kinds of gear for you guys consistently on sale, too, including this T-shirt hat combo. Guys, this is listed at $49.99. Right now, it's $29.99. That's 40% off at chatsports.com slash bears combo. Got uh, uh, tons of different sizes on the T-shirt. The hat is, you know, a uh, flexible size there. You can adjust it there. Chatsports.com slash bears combo. And, you know, springs around the corner, you get the t-shirt, you get the hat, football season will be here before you know it. Get this deal for less than 30 bucks, chatsports.com slash bears combo. That link will be in the comments. It'll also be in the description. Let's talk Cordero Patterson. Could he be heading to Green Bay? Well, uh, you know, he liked to tweet on Twitter from a Packers fan. So naturally, uh, he must be going to the Packers, right? Uh, let's relax. Now, certainly... You know, he's unsigned as we enter th week three of NFL free agency, which leads me to believe that a reunion with the Bears is pretty unlikely at this point. But let's be clear. Cordero Patterson has been liking tweets from several NFL fans for the last three weeks now. He was liking tweets from the Vikings. He was liking tweets from the Jets. Like, Cordero Patterson himself is basically acknowledging, like, hey, like, I'd like to return to Chicago, but if other teams want me, I'm certainly not going to turn down interest there as well. He stopped recruiting players to Chicago. He's probably gone at this point. Let's just, let's just be honest. But let's also be, make it clear, though, him liking a tweet from a Packers fan means exactly zero. Guys, it's 2021. NFL and professional athletes like to twist things up on uh, on social media because they know that people will buy into this crap. I mean, how many times have we seen an athlete either tweet something out or, oh, so-and-so player deletes team name from his Twitter bio. He must want out. He gets a new contract, puts it back in. All is well. It's all a game with these guys on social media. They like to have fun with it because they know people like you will buy into this stuff. Now, I like Cordero. Like, I've said it, he's a culture guy, he's a leader, he's a versatile weapon. I thought he showed some value as a running back last year uh, as well uh, for the Chicago Bears team, but I just don't think there's really room for him at this point, especially at running back. Now, if you bring him back, he's still one of the best kick returners in the game. You could work him back in at receiver, but looking at running back, He's your number four back at best. Damian Williams is a better back. Tariq Cohen's more involved once he's back from the ACL injury. Obviously, David Montgomery. And you have Artavis Pierce and Ryan Nall on the roster as well, competing for roster spots. Now, you could say, okay, but what about receiver? Working back in there. 
I'm fine with that. You got Robinson and Mooney. You know those are going to be your top two guys unless they draft or sign a number two receiver and maybe put Mooney in the slot or something like that. But Javon Wims, don't care about him. Anthony Miller, there's been chatter they might trade him. Riley Ridley, he kind of stinks. So, yeah, sure, Cordero Patterson could be your number four receiver and a kick return man. And I think the Bears would be open to bringing him back for cheap, but they're not going to overpay here. And they should not overpay uh, just because he's a good culture and leader guy. Akeem Hicks is a good culture and leader guy, but he's very, very productive at what he does. Yeah, Patterson's an elite kickoff return man, but how many kickoffs actually get returned these days? Not that many. So we'll see where he ends up. I'm guessing it won't be Chicago, but just because he liked the tweet doesn't mean he's going to be heading to the Green Bay Packers. Predict it for me. Where will Cordero Patterson play next season? Go ahead and let me know what you guys think in the comments. Predict it. What team? Go ahead and type it right now. And while you're at it, get subscribed to Chicago Bears now because we're uploading this video on Monday, which means live show tomorrow, 4 o'clock Eastern, 1 o'clock Pacific, 3 o'clock Central. Subscribe, turn on notifications, daily videos, plus live shows every single Tuesday. So subscribe, turn on notifications, and join us on Tuesday afternoon. We'll have the latest Bears rumors and news just for you guys. Okay, let's wrap this up with uh, the NFL. Looks like they're going to add a 17th game. It's not officially, officially official, but it's unofficially official. This is going to happen. 17th game being added to the schedule in 2021 and moving forward. And the Bears are slated to uh, face the Raiders in Las Vegas. That'll be their 17th game this year, which, hey, that's a lot of fun. Bears in Vegas, uh, let's do it. I'm, I'm definitely down for that. Now, obviously... Number one, more football equals more money, but also more entertainment for us, so I'm down. The Bears, a not-so-fun fact, one of two teams since the NFL went to a 16-game schedule in 1978 through, of course, 2020, uh, one of two teams without a 4,000-yard passer. The other team, the Jets. Well, at least the Jets did it under the 14-game format. Joe Nabith was able to do that. The Chicago Bears, still the only team to not have a 4,000-yard passer in their history. We'll see if Andy Dalton or someone else is able to pull that off this year. But just to kind of recap the, the opponents for this year, we don't have the exact schedule in terms of when they'll play each team. Divisional opponents, six games there, obviously home and road for the Lions, Packers, and Vikings. You look at their other home games here, which, by the way, Bears, eight home games, nine road games, so already a tough schedule. Plus, NFC West and AFC North, not going to be easy. 49ers at home, Bengals, Cardinals, Giants, and the Baltimore Ravens, and then six road games outside of the Division ones, uh, so nine in total. The Cleveland Browns, the Buccaneers, two playoff teams from a year ago, the Raiders, who were competitive as well. And then look at these road games. Guys, this is a brutal schedule for the Chicago Bears, which is why if you have Andy Dalton, you're probably not going to make the playoffs. Rams, Seahawks, and the Pittsburgh Steelers. So we'll see what happens. going to be a challenging schedule, but it looks like the Raiders on the road will be game number 17 for Chicago in 2021. Predict the Bears record for me on a 17-game slate. I'll spitball 7-10. You know, I think this defense will compete. I think Dalton will be slightly better at quarterback, but the schedule's tougher. So I'll go 7-10, and 8-9, and nine, somewhere in there. But I'm subject to change. When I see the full schedule, I can change, uh, as can you guys. So go ahead and predict the Bears record. And quick reminder, before we sign off, this Bears hat and T-shirt combo, $29.99. Uh, I know we told you about it earlier, but in case you forgot, go to chatsports.com slash Bears combo. Pick this bad boy up for 40% off. Again, that link will be in the comments. It'll be in the description. I'm Harrison Graham. We'll see you very, very soon here on Chicago Bears Now.